So you want to install a bed level sensor for auto leveling the bed. And this is also a very good idea. The only thing is first time installation can be quite a pain. And uh, that's why I have made a small code that will help you install this sensor and make a procedure for it. So first of all, you need of course to install the bed level sensor for your Ender 4. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to have approximately here around 6 millimeters. It should be 6, 6.2 millimeters from there to there. It's not 100% accurate, but it works. And don't tighten the screws too much because we need to adjust later on when we start to leveling the bed. Another thing you need to do is you need to try to get approximately the same high all the way around the bed. And for that you can use, uh, this is uh, uh, bottle caps and uh, you need of course, four of, of course four of them. And they need to be same high as well. And if you don't have that and you have the possibility to print, you can print out the STL file I attached to Thinkiverse and use them. So how do you use them? It's very easy. We want to, to get the bed as leveled as possible, at least as much the same high. So you put one of these into each corner, there, 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 and there, and adjust on a crossway the bed. So it's, it's not tightened hard, but uh, just touch uh, touched the, the bed level how do I call it, distance something, and the same you do on, on the other diagonal way here and down. Then you take them out without, of course, losing the screw. So now your bed is, is uh, uh, leveled, uh, not 100%, but we are on a spot where the auto level sensor can, uh, uh, can do the rest, and we can also adjust the nozzle in uh, to the auto level sensor and that I will show you now. So let's start going to the computer. First thing you need to do is to go to Thinkiverse uh, and that you find by click on the link down in the description. You download the files and uh, save them. After that you open them and you copy copy the file to your SD card. This is the Enter 4 bed level code. So uh, when you have done that, you go back to the printer again and insert your card. So you put your SD card into the SD card slot uh, beside the display on the Enter and turn on the Enter. <coughs> when the display is ready, you push the knob and go down to print from SD card and you choose or go down and choose enter for bed level is the file and when you do that it starts to go to the home positioning and from that it will go into the center and it will go down and make a uh, a zero of the set axis and this is important that was why it also was important to have it quite around 6.2 millimeters <coughs> because we create a, a zero now without uh, let the nozzle go down into the bed and now it moves to a new positioning and you now take your your copy paper and do as you normally would do, leveling the bed, as you have a little drag here, so that's great. Give a little bit more, so. Uh, you see I also have my, my tape on, on the bed already, because it's not very thick. So now I, it says wait for use on the display, so I just push the button when I'm finished uh, adjusting the knob com uh, to, to my copy paper and it goes to the next position. And again it stops. 
and it stops every time what we call set zero. So we adjust again because the auto level sensor is not doing anything now. It's it just do something at the center. So that's why we can adjust here with the knobs. But that is good. I put in the button again on the display and it go to the third position. And we do exactly the same again. There we go. And it's a little bit too loose maybe. That's a little drag. It's a drag. It's good. And push the knob again. And it goes to the fourth and the last positioning. And we go in with the paper. Adjust the knob. So it's just a drag here. It's great. So when I push the button now, you get a beep because the next thing we need to do is to adjust the sensor. And you see it's light on the sensor now. I want it to be where it's almost starts to, to light up. And that's why we, we didn't tighten the screws 100%. So what I will do now is I will adjust the sensor. I can just take it on a wire because it's not more fast than that. You see it went out. There. there we are. You see? So right now I will tighten the screws. Be careful not to to damage or move the sensor again. Because then we need to start over again. So, I think we are here. On the display, it still says wait for user. Because what will happen now? Now, we, uh, the, the code will, will print a square. So we see, and this takes eight minutes, and that square we will see if it's uh, leveled correctly. Before it does that, it will do an auto leveling, uh, an auto leveling of the bed. It doesn't move the bed, but what's matter in fact happens when, when it makes an auto leveling, it it moves the the object in the direction that it calculates from the four corners when it do the, the bed leveling. You can matter in fact see it uh, on the set axis, you can see the different points what the value is and they depends on how good you leveled your bed. It, it, makes, uh, it makes a difference. Right now we should have the sensor on the right spot. Um, we are ready to push the button to start the print. And I made in this code like that, it will, will go, uh, the bed will move 50 millimeters down and that's because I want to remove PLA when, when the nozzle is heating up. So in the first way, it will make a, it will prime the nozzle inside the square. So we are not getting into conflict when we make the square. So let's see how the print will go. So the print is done and uh, let's see if we can get it off. It's a very small square, it took, matter of fact, 
seven minutes to print and it should get off quite easy because one of the things with a good level bed is that you get things off easy and as you can see here we did so um, this is how to install the bed level sensor on an ender 4 and uh, leveling it and adjust it so uh, well happy bed leveling see you another day bye bye